Hi, I'm Sherry from Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer blog. I thought I would start doing a few curriculum reviews since it's kind of fun to actually see the product. I also have a whole blog that I had spent three years um, writing reviews for the Old Schoolhouse magazine. I'll put the link down in the description box. Now mind you, that was a few years ago, so some of the prices may have changed or some of the companies may no longer be in business or whatever so just keep that in mind when you're going through but there may be some helpful reviews in there for something you've been considering. For today I'd like to talk about some of the really nice sets that you can purchase from Master Books. Um, you can get them from a variety of different places. I know that you can get them from Rainbow Resource, Amazon, or directly through their company. Or in this case, I happen to be following EduCents, that's E-D-U-C-E-N-T-S, on Facebook, and they had mentioned a sale they had. So I went ahead and I clicked it, and I went through some of the things they had, and lo and behold, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it for my son. Now, that doesn't always happen, especially lately for me. I seem to be on the fence with a lot of different things. And if you've watched any of my do-it-yourself videos on my homeschool planner, you know what I mean. But when I saw that, I just knew. I knew right away. Perfect, perfect, perfect for my son. So they also had a pretty good price. I think I only paid, I don't know, $31 and some change for this whole set. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's, I'm telling you, just by looking at it, it's definitely worth it. These are very nice quality books, and this is definitely a nice um, guide for you. This doesn't have a play-by-play, -play, by the way. None of theirs that I'm aware of do. It just covers the um, questionnaires that you would copy off for your child for each chapter, and then it will have tests and things like that in the end, and then of course the answer keys. But with these things, you really don't really need a play-by-play -play guide, so I, I like it. It's very easy to use. One of my favorite things, let's see if it's in here. is this. They have this and I always run off a copy for myself and then I'll just check off as we go so I know where we are and it keeps everything nice and organized for me. Now as you can see here this says 7th to 9th grade. Please do not ever let any of those suggested grade levels throw you for a loop. If you think your child it will really enjoy it, go for it. If they're older and you feel like you need to beef it up more, beef it up. Actually and I have their little thing right here, as you can see. Nice little catalog that came in their own catalog under the 11th grade curriculum. Ta-da! They have it there. So it just goes to show you that even they aren't going by the suggested grade level. It can be carried up into actually 12th grade. And many, many of their books can. I feel like sometimes they may be not 100% um, high school level. I always add in a ton of extra things that really beefs up the course. And remember too, especially for high schoolers, I think we think that we have to give them a ton of things at a super high boring level. Just read, 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 do all this worksheets, do all these write, writing of papers and blah, 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 and they take the fun right out of the education. I do not want to do that with my kids, and I haven't, hopefully. Obviously, at some point, they have to do some harder work. I get that. But please don't destroy the fun of learning the minute they step into, say, ninth grade. You can always keep it fun and do a bunch of different things. And I'll, I'll talk more about that in a how to homeschool your high schooler type of series once I get to that point. Again, we're just talking about this. Now, we haven't used this. I just received it. This will be for next year. It is applied engineering, so I'm more than likely going to put this under his engineering um, grade. We're slowly working on different courses, and I'm going to snowball them all in together and put them under that. <clears throat> this talks about how the different designs in our world are used to create things that help us humans out. And so it's really interesting. I've just been flipping through. This is just a black and white book, but it talks about oh, different things like barbed wire. How did we come up with that? Um, I think most people know like the burrs got caught on, you know, when you're walking out in the woods, those little burrs stick to your clothes. Somebody thought, well, hey, and then they changed that into like a Velcro. So this is a really nice book. As you can see, it's hardback. Love it. Excellent quality. 
vibrant colors. It talks about all these different things. And so I'm assuming in the um, guide over here, it's going to walk us through all the different chapters and help us learn things. And again, these ask questions that would make them look through the chapter and look for the answers, or it may just be something they can deduce. I like that a lot. So we have that one. This one talks about some of the people. We've actually covered quite a few of these people in our Beautiful Feet History of Science. But it does talk about people who kind of are forgotten, and they actually helped with a lot of inventions. So that's good to know, too. All right, now this is, again, from Master Books, and they have a lot of nice ones. And I have used some of their other things before. So it's like, again, when I saw this, I just knew beyond a shadow of a doubt. Got a little piece of lint there, sorry that um, this will be perfect for my son. I do have Apologia's high school series, the um, physical science, the chemistry, and the bio biology. But this particular child of mine does better with shorter chapters, a little more color, and things that pertain to his interest a little bit. And I kept going over a couple of the books that I have, and I just felt like it may not work with him. I will have him do Apology as Biology, but I like to hang on to that to like about 11th grade. I know a lot of people try and put that at 9th or 10th, and that's great for your kids. But for my children, I felt like they got more out of it if I waited till they were older. So I will have him do this next year as a part of his engineering sort of science course. And I'll show you some things. Hang on, let me get these out of the way. Yes, this is my carpet I have to hide in my bedroom because of the cat. All right, now this is what we are currently working on, the intro to archaeology and geology. We finished geology, we did September to December, and now we're working on this. I really, really like this program. Again, a 7th to ninth grade, you just copy off these sheets and the tests and you can give it to them. These books are all hardback. They're very nice. And what it does is it walks you through, it explains... And here's another thing, too. You can use this with younger children. You can have a few age ranges in here because what they talk about... Get, here we go. How to use this book. So anything that has, like, the yellow background would be considered for 5th to 6th grade, 7th to 8th for this grayish blue, and then anything white is considered for 9th to 11th. Well, I just read the whole page to him. I, he, my son actually is an auditorial learner more than anything else, so I just read him this material and we discuss it. So I just go ahead and I would read him the entire page. Now, if you have a pretty young student, maybe this is all you need to cover. But this material is so interesting, I frankly do not understand how this man here can be in this tube like this. I would be so claustrophobic. There ain't no way I'd be doing that. Anyway, um, it has nice pictures and nice print, and it's good quality, good quality paper. And then you can just read through it. The chapters aren't ridiculously long, and then you just come to the next one. And for each chapter, again, there is the paperwork that you would do. All right, so we're working on the archaeology. Now, the book alone, I don't feel is the quite enough. With the two together, this would give a half a credit for this science. But I'm bulking ours up to one full credit because we're also adding in a bunch of different archaeology books. We added in a bunch of geology additional books, and we have a lot of field work. This is an ongoing process. Um, my husband and son are out in about pretty much every weekend. They're putting in a couple hours here and there several times a week, and they're... Um, looking for artifacts and just kind of hunting around. They like to go, they actually have done automotive archaeology. So I can work this all in and give them a full credit because I'm adding in extra material. But if you just want to stick to the books and the program, it's a half a credit and you can do several of these and still have plenty of science for high school. So keep that in mind. And they aren't really ridiculously overpriced. I'm seeing these books are only around $14 through the company and not too much more and sometimes even less on sale through others. So this is a really different way to add science into your child's curriculum or whatever schedule and um, keep it fun. So again, I, we have been working on and are, have done and I highly recommend this. All right. 
Oh, another thing we're doing with archaeology is a ton of different um, little archaeolog archaeological kits and things like that too, which is fun. And I'm going to be burying some pottery and things like that in our backyard and let the weather kind of tramp down the soil a little bit and then I'll have him, um, I'll film it, but I'll have him mark off and do how a real archaeologist would do a dig and notations and all that kind of stuff. Now I have purchased this way back. This is no longer, they have updated it. And um, it was a good book, it still is a good book. I was kind of bummed that they did update it because that means I might have to purchase their new one. But let me see here. Oh, of course, don't you know, when you're trying to show somebody something, you can never find the page. Isn't that how it always goes? Forgive me, people, really. Well, I guess we have to go here. Sorry, so sorry. Well, they, oh, they sold this. I actually have used Jensen, so I didn't particularly care for it. It was too wordy for my kids. It's just my kids. Okay, here we go. They have Intro to Meteorology and the Astronomy. So I do not have this book. That's a new version this year. I will be purchasing that. I don't know, is that focused? Um, and like I said, $13.59. I can afford that. And the whole set. 3475. Yeah, I can do that for a science course. It does again say 7th to 9th, but they also list it in the back for um, 9th through 12th. So just use your discretion. Again, it says a half a credit, but we will do a lot of different um, projects and things that will beef up this. Maybe I can give three quarters of a credit. And of course, the biggest thing is getting to um, Planetarium, which we have across the state, which we could go to again. So and I also, um, right now, I just requested this book from the library, just received it today. They also have something like this, if you just want to do intro to astronomy. But I was looking and I see they have the 9th through 12th level, which is the survey of astronomy. And I'm thinking about just getting the teacher's guide and a couple of the other books and adding that in to really beef up the astronomy section of our study. And the nice thing is, is that my daughter's best friend happens to be studying um, ast astronomical somethings or other. So basically, she's got tons and tons of astronomy under her belt and has said that she would have no problem um, helping us with anything we need. So I'm like, cool. So um, we have that. And I just thought I would share that with you. They have some wonderful, wonderful books. So I highly recommend you check out this company. Master Books Curriculum. I am not disappointed in their material at all. Like I said, hardcover books, they store nicely, they last nicely. Um, very nice colored pictures. Again, this is the old astronomy book. The only reason why I feel like I should probably replace it is because I did download their sample of the new one and it's very different and the, the guide itself just won't match this one. So I'll either keep it for a while and have him just read through it quickly or sell it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, once we get into this next year, I'll come back and do another, you know, how we're doing with this applied engineering series and let you know. But if you happen to see this and you have a child who's really into this kind of thing, I highly recommend these. You're not going to lose, you know, thousands of dollars. It's only like 35 bucks or less to get the whole set. And you can have, you know, well, in this case, it's a whole credit for the science, so... All right, um, don't forget to subscribe because I have a whole bunch more videos and ideas coming up and I am planning on joining the virtual homeschool group and that has some wonderful um, helps and ideas there too. I'll leave the link down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.